Hey guys, welcome to Key West, Florida. out here drinking my morning cortadito. Today is our last day. I'm headed to the airport in a little bit. I'm headed to off to one more attraction, which you guys will see at the end of this video. But I'm gonna roll it back to when we arrived here a couple days ago and share with you all the fun that we got up to in Key West. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and fun begin. To get to Key West, you can either fly directly into Key West or you can drive down from Miami, which is what we did. This is actually the second half of our trip. We spent a couple days in Duck Key at Hawks K, so you can check that out. I've got it linked up in the eye and in the description box. Definitely a fun video. Make sure to check that one out when this one's done. Having some lunch at the southernmost resort little beach cafe right here. This is so stunning out here. I cannot wait to explore more of this adorable, very quaint little beach city and all of its history. I am starving though, and I have a feeling my food has probably hit the table, so I'm gonna go join the other girls and get some food. We got up to Key West a little early in our rooms at Southernmost Resort weren't ready, so we headed over to their little beach cafe to grab some lunch. It has the perfect view and some nice loungers in the sand that you can also use if you are a guest at Southernmost Resort. The food here was delicious, and also one thing to know, there are wild chickens and roosters all over Key West. They're just, they run wild. Just be prepared for it. There were definitely plenty of options to grab a cocktail on the beach in this area. This is a cute little mojito bar that's right next to the southernmost house in the United States, which I thought was very interesting. And I really loved the very cute architecture of this home. For our time in Key West, we stayed at Southernmost Beach Resort, which is a newly renovated luxury hotel that is just steps away from all the things that you want to check out here in Key West. Yay, thank you. You gotta love being greeted with champagne, am I right? Southernmost is such a great resort to choose when you are in Key West, Florida. They have so many incredible amenities and it's really easy to see why this is an award-winning resort. You'll find several pools to choose from, from this pineapple pool with this lively bar to a more relaxing area like this one. They also have another tranquility pool if what you want is peace and quiet. The resort itself just offers stunning views from every turn. They have a private sandbar and tanning pier, as well as the priority access to South Beach, like I mentioned before. Just got into our room here at Southernmost Resort. Me and Lauren are sharing this room. It's super cute. And got our own little balcony out here. A little view to the ocean. So cute, the pink house, I wanna live in it. Too funny, don't think it's gonna snow here though. After getting settled into our room, it was time to go out and explore Key West. Our first stop was the Hemingway home, which was about a 10 minute walk from our hotel. This was the home of famed American author, Ernest Hemingway, and you can come and take a tour of this historic home from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. Walk-ins are accepted, but admission is cash only. Just be aware of that. This French colonial style home was built in 1851, and it was inhabited by Hemingway and his wife from 1931 to 1939. It was here that Hemingway wrote some of his best received works, including The Green Hills of Africa, The Snows of Kilimanjaro, The Short Happy Life of Francis Macomber, To Have and Have Not, and Islands in the Stream. Okay, meet the adorable Hemingway cats. So you'll find tons of kitties roaming around this home. These are the Hemingway cats. They're said to be descended from Hemingway's cat, Snow White, a cat that was given to him by a sea captain in Key West. About half the cats are polydactyl, which means they have six toes on each paw. It's so cool to get to come and just walk around Hemingway's home. It's so beautiful checking out all the history and the cats. It is freaking hot though. I feel like my face is melting off at this point. Okay, back to the cats. Apparently it's a tradition to name the cats after famous people. This one's name is Etta James. You're allowed to pet them at your own risk and Etta was very sweet and she seemed to like me, which apparently is unusual. 
These gardens are so lush, it's so beautiful. One of the most unusual features of this home is the in-ground pool, which was an incredible luxury in the 1930s, and it apparently cost $20,000 at the time to build. Have to quickly shout out the Babes That Wander, a group of six women, including myself. We travel together from time to time. Make sure to check us out on Instagram if you're into female-focused travel adventures. That was my move. Little outfit change. Show you guys a sec. Tonight we're gonna go do a little sunset cruise. Commotion on the ocean. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> the babes know how to cause a commotion anywhere we go. Yes, we do. Look at that dress. One thing I definitely recommend doing is getting out on the water for a sunset cruise while in Key West. Fury Water Adventures is a great company that hosts Commotion on the Ocean, uh, basically a booze cruise with a fun live band. Yeah. Band is actually fun. on this cruise definitely worked hard to make sure our glasses were never empty. Yeah. headed to Half Shell Raw Bar Key West Original Seafood Restaurant. This has been an icon of Key West dining scene for so many years now. They have fresh seafood delivered straight into the restaurant and you can enjoy such things as amazing oysters, lobster, crab, all kinds of amazing seafood dishes. We loved our dinner and I honestly was in heaven the whole time in the Keys with all this fresh seafood. Going out in search of coffee. Gonna get a cruzadito. <laughs> Anna's Cuban Cafe was kind of my jam the entire time we stayed at Southernmost. It was right across the street. It has this nice little marketplace inside, but it's really all about the little Cuban cafe. They have so many different breakfast and lunch options, and then they also have Cuban coffee, specifically Cortadito, which I became obsessed with. <laughs> we are up bright and early. We're gonna get our namaste on here in Truman Waterfront Park very quiet and peaceful here. So we're just gonna have a relaxing start to our day because the rest of the day is gonna be pretty adrenaline rushing. Just wait for it. If you're heading to Key West with a group of friends and you wanna get in a little morning at yoga session on the waterfront, you can check out Salute to the Soul Yoga. They host group classes on the waterfront here and it was just the reset we needed for the day. Back again with Fury Water Adventures. Gonna do a little snorkeling cruise. Go. And we're gonna go see some animals because I'm set on seeing some animals, not just fish. I need only to see one turtle, no sharks, maybe a dolphin. We get lucky. A dolphin would be cool. Elise has got her fins. She's so professional. 
she's ready to do this. Such a serious, yeah. <laughs> and Lauren took the more daring approach and just jumped right in. Aisha and I kind of eased our way into the water. So when you go on this snorkel excursion, they have all the snorkeling equipment there for you. And it was so awesome to get underneath the water and check out this beautiful coral reef and see some beautiful wildlife underneath the water. out there today. Lauren and Elise are out there being warriors and we're just like, nah. <laughs> Not it. We're work out. Enjoy the, the sun and the, the deck. <laughs> Off to our next location. Where's Aisha? <laughs> My hat's too big. Like, I'm over here somewhere. <laughs> Believe it or not, this was my first time ever snorkeling. And while it was pretty cool, I kind of figured out it wasn't really my favorite thing, but I did have a great afternoon out on the water. We got lucky and got to see a couple dolphins, though we didn't get to swim with them. Uh, but the Fury team was so great and made sure that we had a safe and fun adventure out in the reef. So next on the itinerary today, we're going jet skiing. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm back there. <laughs> High kicks, yes. So before you go jet skiing, they make you take a whole test if you're born, what is it, before January 1st or after? Basically, if you're born in 1988 or up, they make you take a test. So a mess of well on this one. Basically, this is a Florida law that you have to take this little test. It's for a temporary voter's license. You're allowed to work together. It's open book, and you can use the internet. So, you know, it took us a little bit to get through. Oh, uh, you missed one. You're not the perfect play club. Dang. But, you can but I passed. Everybody still stayed up on top. Yay. We had the best group really average on the test. We're a bunch of smarties. We're not just beauty. We're also brains. Wicked smart. Wicked smart. Now, I'm like kind of nervous okay, because after taking that test and all the safety stuff, it's a little... <laughs> nerve wracking but we're gonna do this not gonna lie i was really nervous to try jet skiing for the first time but our guide david was such a great teacher he really made sure we knew exactly what to do and in no time we were out there speeding along at 80 miles an hour on the water it was such a rush There are some areas of the Florida Keys that are just not even accessible even by a boat and jet ski is the best way to get to them. So this multiple hour tour was such a great way to explore the different smaller islands of the Keys and get a little bit more of a perspective of the area. He took us to this island, which you can see on the very far right hand side, that yellow house, that was Oprah's house. This was Paulo Escobar's house. Uh, this house over here is rumored to have just been bought by Taylor Swift, but it's a rumor. And then this, you might recognize if you're a 90s kid like me, was a real world house for a while. So it was definitely super cool to go and see these beautiful homes and just speed along the water. We took this tour through Barefoot Billies and I highly recommend booking through them and asking for David if you do. He was great. He put up with us. He took all these great photos and videos of us on our jet skis and directed us. It was amazing. So David, thank you for such a great afternoon on the water. For our last dinner in Key West, we went to the docks, which is on Stock Island. It's kind of in an interesting area. You drive out there and you're like, where am I going? But then you find this great restaurant and raw bar and it makes the drive all worth it. They have some delicious oysters and seafood, of course. Their cocktail menu was so good. I got this pineapple -y rum drink. 
and we just had the most amazing meal. I mean, if there's oysters on the menu, the babes are going to definitely order them, and Elise and I are definitely going to cheers and do them together. Classic. drag show I feel like this is the right outfit you can't have to come correct when you go to a drag show am I right I still feel like I'm on the water you guys I've been off any sort of water vessel for several hours now and I still feel like I'm like waving back and forth so probably gonna have to go easy on the drinks tonight because I already feel a little bit like whew. feeling ready she ready well, we knew we were headed in the right direction when a guy on a bike passed us and yelled, Yes, Queens, as we walked by. We also made some friends down on this little stretch of Duval Street on our way to the drag show. Look at this guy's fabulous boots. I can't even. If you're looking for a fun night out in Key West, definitely have to check out a drag show at 801 Bourbon on Duval Street. This is such a fun time, definitely a very Key West thing to do. And we were ready in the VIP section with our Cosmos and all of our $1 bills, ready to have a great time. It's secret, but it's easy to see. Vibing the whole time. I just like looked over at Megan and she's just like, Hello. I was passing out ones to strangers. I was like, it's all going to the same place, baby. Yes. <laughs> Have fun. Exactly. So much fun. Sir, sir, if you could keep it down, you know, at 5 30 in the morning. 5 30 to 7 30 be cool. We could just be quiet. Cool. Are we cool? Thanks. The next morning, of course, I went back to Anna's for some more cortadito and I tried the Cuban special breakfast. It was like black beans and rice with scrambled eggs and this toast. Ooh, that's strong. <laughs> Although that's not good. Heat here is no joke. It's literally barely nine o'clock and I feel like I'm already sweating. Hot coffee. I don't know if it was a wise choice, but I need this cortadito. They say it's the original energy drink and they weren't lying because it is strong. Before heading out back home to LA, I had to check out the Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory. This is actually right across the street from the southernmost resort and I had heard so many good things about it so I decided to go pop in and check it out. It's definitely something that you can do. It doesn't take very long to get through but definitely worth seeing. This place was like a mini tropical paradise. It's home to some 50 to 60 species of butterflies and about 20 species of exotic birds, including two very vocal flamingos who are currently mating and their names are Rhett and Scarlet. The flamingos are really noisy over there.
humid in here. I'm literally sweating. Whew. So if you come in the summertime, just be forewarned. Drink a lot of water before you come in here. Well, that about finishes up my trip here in Key West, Florida. Just chilling out on this hammock and a little sandbar here at the Southernmost Resort for a couple minutes before I go upstairs, finish off packing my bags and go to the airport. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've had such an amazing time and I hope you had fun following along. Make sure if you haven't yet that you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Bye!